Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a little girl with a big tiger. First I drew a circle for the head and a line for the face. Now let's make an oval more or less for the torso and the legs, like so. The arm which will be extended forward. And now let's sketch the tiger. We begin with a line for the face, then the shape of the head, which is pretty square, and then the body. Now the powerful legs. He will be crouching, and he will not be happy, because he's been stopped by the girl. So let's draw the face accordingly. <laughs> Actually, I will erase this front leg because I think it should be more forward. Here is better, much better. It goes back a bit and then bends like this. Alright. The shoulder blade up here as it is being pushed up. And now let's give a little bit of detail to the girl. The ear, the face and hair and the dress. Very good! It's time to draw with ink. We'll use this black Indian ink and a dip pen. So we dip the pen in the ink and then we can draw with it. The first thing I do is to go over the line that I drew with pencil. We go over the drawing itself. First I draw with pencil because this line cannot be erased. This ink is permanent. But you don't necessarily have to go over the exact same line because while you do this, you may want to do some corrections or improvements. I mean, if you want. And also, we can begin to draw some of the hair of the tiger, for example, that in the lower part is longer. I like deep pens because they are very sharp and leave a definite and powerful line. Maybe it is not the most practical, since you have to be dipping it and if you move or travel you need to carry the ink with you, but it definitely can produce a great result. Ok, now let's shape. We will do this with hatching and cross hatching, which is the typical for ink drawing. And to that we can also add some brush work which obviously leaves a much wider mark, a bolder mark. With this, I'll do the tiger stripes. I will not fill in totally all of them, in some I will leave some blank spaces, especially the ones that are in areas that are catching light, like the ones on the back. Here, for example. They are not totally black since they are getting more light than the ones in shade. Make sure when you draw the stripes to follow the shapes, the forms. You can use the stripes to describe the volume of each part. And now let's give a tone to all the areas in shade. We can do this with a light hatching with a deep pen. Very good, like so. I'm doing it with parallel lines, and we can cross hatch to make it darker. Also this area of the belly should be a little bit darker, and behind the leg. Very good, excellent! I like it how it is looking. Now it is a matter of just fine tuning a few lines, and we draw the shadow, the cast shadow, which I need to make it more straight. <laughs> and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to find our tips if you haven't done so, and click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos. And I will see you on Tuesday.